If you hear a fan in the background, it's a hot fucking day. Please just deal with it. That's the disclaimer. Hey guys, it's Nemi here with Who and and James, but he's not going to be part of this much. Fuck you, James. Hello, Fuck people. You. Fuck you back. Wait. How are you go? <laughs> right now. <laughs> Hello, people. How are we going? Uh, so we hit five thousand subscribers, and as such, uh, we're doing a version of the every fact or one fact for every how it should have been. But this time, Who ends in it, and it's about not death I battle. I am. All of them. It is. All yes. The, all the not death battle series. So let's get started. In Galactus vs. Magic Cup, the script had the characters of Not Wiz and Not Boomstick actually called Nemesis and Huan, but I think it was our real names, actually. Which is even more cringe. Uh, and in, so instead of, like, having the names, we just had, like, our names in the script. And it was also my first full sprite animation. Don't ask what round two was. Don't ask. Seriously, don't. Hey guys, what was round two? I will fucking break your spine and shove it up your ass. <laughs> You're in a bad mood today. <laughs> Dread versus Shred. The, the intro to that kinda also cringe. Basically, <laughs> basically, me and Nemi had like the idea for like, I think it was the first six episodes yeah. to have like ad lib Ruby song intros. Well, this is when we liked the, Ruby. Yeah, where it had a title card of the actual episode and seemed to, it was very weird. I don't know why we did it. Glad it got abolished. <laughs> Except so later. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think we all liked Ruby back then. Oh, yeah. we did. We all did. Uh, it, back in the good old days. Volume 3 was where Didn't we up. record that, like, Shredder vs. Shredder in the lounge room, like, on the floor, with the old yeah, laptop? I think we did. <laughs> That's another fact. That's another fact. Pen vs. Pencil was the first popular episode of Night Death Battle. It was the first one to reach a thousand views. It's now on 7.8. Let's, let's get it, uh, to... To, to 8k gamers. I think I said uh, that in the already Q &A. said that. I don't know. But uh, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah, this though. episode was supposed to be pen versus scissors. Which is why, obviously, we've had pen versus scissors show up in other series as jokes. So, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it is now overthrown by several episodes as most viewed, but it's still up there. Yeah. It's a classic. Saitama versus the Chucky. This was made before Nemesis, you know, so wisely watched One Punch Man. Nice Whoops. one. <laughs> nice 12 episodes you can binge in a day. Nah. <laughs> just, just make Saitama. Just make Saitama. Just nothing. Yeah, let's make Saitama the character. <laughs> Angry Video Game Nerd vs. Nostalgia Critic. Well, there's a fact written, but also it is James' favourite episode. Say something about it. It's the only one I can actually remember watching fully. Like, the whole episode. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> That's fair. It's I, don't, I don't watch on Death because I'm not into... It, it's because you love AVGN yeah. that you watched it. I did. Now I'm not as keen because he's he's doing different shit, really. He's still yeah. doing AVGN stuff. Yeah, but it's different now. It's not as good. Mm. Yeah, but like, I... I got, like, I, some guys involved that changed it, and I'm not too fond of the changes, but... Yeah. I still respect James Rolfe. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Way more than Doug Walker. Of course. Fucking... Easy, agree. Also, not with says Furry Road instead of Fury Road. That was, like, a gag, but we didn't put it in. That's That's the fact. Because there was actually a thing where I was so yeah, well, just fuck. That's my kryptonite today. The word suppose. Well, supposed to say Fury Road. You know that Mad Max movie, pretty good. Yeah, Mad Max Fury Road. But I said Fury. Let the incels commence. Anyway, Jay, that's the thing. Back for that. Ken, Ken Masters was the Ken doll. Also, naming his dumber. <laughs> I'm not. This purely was the first somewhat sprite match from me. Also, I guess you could say this is the first time we used <laughs> PNGs in our... Yeah. Oh, no, because Magic Cup oh. in round two was just a PNG. Oh, but it's where it started, it's where it started to become, you know, more yeah. mainstream. Red vs. Henry, it is our most viewed episode of Not Death Battle. One of the most viewed videos on the channel, and also is the one that I thought would be one of the worst performing episodes. Uh, I guess that shows just how stupid I was and how, how much I underestimated... Um, the just... next episode... <laughs> You underestimated that. Paper versus tree. Do you want to tell the whole story again? Before you do, who the fuck came up with that in the first place? Me. I think that was you, yeah. <laughs> of course. Because, <laughs> you know, because paper is made from trees. What's, what's all I know? Heavily before? processed trees, but, you know. I know an actual fact for this, so while I don't want to tell the story, I will tell the fact. The, 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 like the story has times. been told before. Um, yeah. You can go watch the biggest mistakes, uh, or the train mistakes, the and mistakes. Um, the what season one like? retrospective. We explain exactly. the story in both of those. Yep, sorry. For this, Paper's Tree was supposed to be episode five. That is true. 
it we had the next time twice, I think. Yeah, which was me just going ooh, 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 at a uh, right. tree and yeah, I, at a tree and a piece of paper. That is the first live action. Oh no, that's the first time you face paper, not the first live yeah. action because that was pen versus pencil. Round two, which was fully live action. And now I got pushed back to episode eight. That explains why it had the trashy mic and trashy quality. And the rest is yeah. history. Paper, paper versus scissors versus to win. Paper versus C, scissor versus rock. Uh, it was the first live action appearance of me, and also the first appearance of the characters of Rat Trap and Bob Steve the Pumpkin Guy. More on those later. Uh, the entire reason it happened, right, was because I wanted the ending clip for Rock to be Huan pelting rocks at me. And then, while we were at the park filming, we just decided to do one for scissors and paper. Fun fact for that. James, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh yes! For the rock outro, <laughs> yeah. James was supposed to be the one throwing the rocks, but you didn't throw enough. Oh, I remember that now. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you didn't throw probably. So I had to come in, and then you had to become the cameraman. And <laughs> he's remained the whole time. He's remained this whole time. Oh, he's whoops. he's our most common cameraman. So yeah, yeah that, it's kind of funny now, but <laughs> still, it was one of the most fun episodes to make. I remember when uh, <laughs> you showed it to me at, at school. Um, oh, I was like giddy we, we were We were laughing so hard, and everyone was looking at us. It was good. Uh, me, me, Battle Royale. Mm. Uh, meh episode, but you know, it introduced the Sword of Death, one of the key weapons in Not Boomstick's uh, arsenal, and spoilers, is what caused him to win. It is one of the biggest reasons he went, won against Not Wiz, because it cuts through No Limits fallacies and shit. I don't ask how that works, it does. Also, another fact, the Mii's backstories, the little origins I played at the start of each analysis, were ad libbed by Nemi in a Leonard Nimoy voice, <laughs> why not? I just had a thought. Um, the ability to cut through No Limits Fallacies, would that count as plot hacks? Because it, it, it's overriding the narrative, which yeah, causes it would. No Limits Fallacies. Oh my god, not Boomstick has a plot hack sword! Oh my god, if... If anyone can find the most hacksy character in fiction and put them in the comments, then we can have not been sick by that. Let's go. Hacks. All right. Uh, Devil Dinosaur vs. Motherfucking T-Rex was done to end the Motherfucking T-Rex joke, which people have gotten tired of in how it should have been, and I was getting tired of it as well. Not going to lie, one of the forgettable episodes. Sorry. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But also, apparently, Devil Dinosaur would still win against the stats we gave for Motherfucking T-Rex. So, That's funny. Whoops. Oh, well. The Death, Death this is Death Egg. Things feet Vader and the Eggy Man. So, uh, if you watch the Death Egg analysis, there was a bunch of animations there that, well, funny, kind of, kind of, you know, you you like. Why didn't I use actual footage? That's because I didn't know that in like Sonic Three or some shit like that. Even I see even some cutscenes of the Death Egg and shit. <laughs> but there was a Death Egg Zone. And I could have just used footage of uh, someone going through there, but no, I just decided, why not just animate some stupid shit instead and call it a day? So, yeah, honestly, wish I could have made Death Egg analysis better. Wish to make the episode a lot better, actually. So, mm. But still, I, I, I still like it. Yeah, so, yeah. Shao Kahn vs. Gilgamesh, or as Huan has written it in the script, Saho, Saho vs. Khan, Shao versus was Khan. based on a Death Battle fan in Wiki uh, episode, or script, for the same matchup. I actually thought it was wrong, because it had Gilgamesh winning, and then I researched, and, um... Gilgamesh is OP. Gilgamesh is fucking broken, so... <laughs> <laughs> Table versus, as I wrote it in the script, Chichari. Quotation mark. Oh, that was TM, like trademark. That would have been funny. Uh, I wrote, give it up, chair, because in the chair analysis for that, there was a footage where it looks like I was interrogating a chair. I, I was literally running out of ideas for footage for the analysis, <laughs> so I was like, why not film a chair late in the evening and walk around it? And yep. it yeah. It Yuri, looks like an interrogation, it's funny. Yuri vs. Max was the full or the first full pivot animation I originally had in a year. In right. a year and I think maybe even more. Because like if you go back in Nemesis's old uploads a bunch of pivot yeah. shit and stuff. But also just like personal. Like I didn't do pivot animation for like a whole year. Yeah. I should also note originally 
the matchup was going to be Yuri versus the Warrior of Light from Final Fantasy. Ooh, yes, it was. But um, while I did make a Warrior of Light pivot model, which is I did I did eventually make public, um, it was I found it a bit difficult to use, and I didn't think Warrior of Light's arsenal was bounced off very well. So I used Yuri instead and call it a day. I used Max instead. It was always going to be you. Yuri. <laughs> Jane Chronicle, bitch. It's it's a bitch because they can't play it anymore. Kirby's a wee wee game because it's for babies and it's super easy. Isn't Kirby a baby? He He's is. eight inches tall and yeah, he acts like a baby. Okay, you got me there. Uh, next, Lucy the Clonius versus Lucy Hartophilia. I forgot Lucy's the, the elfin laid one because dumb. Uh, basically, this was like a sister episode to Sasuke vs. Patroclo. Similar idea, similar editing, similar us not liking the characters. Yeah, similar... it was a simple thing of like a character we don't like from something we do oh. like versus a character that we don't like from something we don't like. But now Huan actually likes Naruto, so that's, yeah, that's funny. But yeah, yeah it's the same thing. So, yeah, pretty similar episodes. Batman vs. Wall. The second round was the animation equivalent of ad-libbing something, because that came out of nowhere... I was just like, and I had a second round, and then it was just like, sure, oh, hey. yeah. That's Which is exactly it. why there's a second round in the next episode, Sasuke vs. Patroclos. Yep. Just because. Hey, if I had a reason, I wanted to show Susano Alpha Susano Patroclos Sasuke. and Susano. <laughs> not, a, not a good matchup. <laughs> Anyways, on to, hey, that matchup, Sasuke vs. Patroclos. Uh... We've said this fact multiple times, but unlike the paper tree backstory, this one you can actually explain for not too long. Yeah. So, Zoro vs. Zoro. That's a matchup. Gonna be a special. Still coming out. Eventually. One day. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. I'm lazy. But <laughs> then, you got... That was originally meant to be where Sasuke vs. Patroclos was. Episode 7... No, 9... 17. No, 18. 18. Yeah. We don't know the season list, sorry. So, yeah. 18. Episode 18 was originally meant to be Zoro vs. Zoro, but after animation oopsies made Sasuke vs. Patroclo a little bit longer, we, was de we decided to, hey, let's just turn uh, that into a one second punch out, and boom, stories like that. For some reason, in Hulk Hogan vs. John Cena, there is a 20 second long Dragon Ball Z clip in the middle of the animation. First time I was watching this, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is it so long? <laughs> Yang vs. Hulk is the episode that I still get comments saying was wrong. Uh, if you don't know, 616 Hulk is fucking powerful. He's a herald, right? He's like a high tier herald. That's what you. That's all you need yeah, to like, say. Yeah, like Thor and Doom level. But people still tell me Yang should have won. When even with the city buffs, she's like, no way near it. City? Oh, it was a large town. The penny lifting Amity was recalped. Ha! Get fucked. Uh, and even if you composite both of them, Yang is like complex multi with um, Blaze Blue, but then like Hulk is out of Versal, like very high out, like borderline tier zero with the one below. That all. composite's even shaky for Yang. Holy fuck! Yeah, and like, like Hulk composited is one of the most powerful characters in Marvel because he's the one below all. <laughs> and Yang's the one below all for us. She's yep. a bitch. Michael Bavis Derek Savage unintentionally had the introduction to Rat Trap's name. So, you know, me live action. But instead, uh, I think Nemi one day will, I don't know what we were doing, maybe watching this again. He was like, hey, you said Rat Trap saves the kids as a joke. I'm going to use that and name you live action. <laughs> that's, like, that's literally it. So the name stuck and now it's Rat Trap and Bob Steve. Yup, the pumpkin guy. And the second fact of this is, JMO here was the one who uh, gave us the idea. So, yeah, thanks for that. Yes. Unfortunately, that was one of my bastard children ideas. It worked <laughs> out in the I end. I call it a bastard <laughs> shot, so I don't want to take responsibility for it. Yeah, but it led to that n not Battle Royale thing with the, with the orc, so... Yes, my other bastard child idea. You have a lot of bastard childs. Let's yeah. ignore that. Anyways, Blue Boy vs. Flashlight. Originally, this wasn't even meant to be <laughs> an episode. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened. For some reason, I was like, one day, hey, I don't want to do this. We took it off, and we added Hulk Hogan versus John Cena in Steed. 
But I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. We I, put it back on. We put it back on to either replace an episode or we didn't have enough episode. It's very confusing how it got back on the season list. And that was after the FNAF craze had died off, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was like... I think this was, this was released in 2017, 18, I think. Yeah, that yeah. was when it was starting to die off. I yeah. Oh my god, we killed FNAF. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, if you remember... James, the flashlight does that giant laser and it Yeah, it can literally oh, kills yeah. the FNAF. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, Scott still makes his games this day, but we killed FNAF, okay? I think Map had stopped doing his fucking theories on it too. Thank I God. get the feeling. No, yeah. he, he's still done them. Like, with every yeah. new um, game, he still makes them. Oh, God. Like, he did one for VR, which to my knowledge, VR is like the only one that I that you can call like straight up a, a actually really good game. Because, like, mm. seeing gameplay, it actually does look really good in full VR. Like well, the, the I guess map. we have to bring Flashlight back to kill some more FNAF fuckers. <laughs> Stay Flashlight tuned, maybe. versus MatPat. All right. Uh, <laughs> Super Meat Boy versus Super Tofu Boy. Tofu Boy. Super Meat Boy versus Super Tofu Boy is a video that I wrote and edited, but who ain't animated because I didn't want to animate it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And I also, I lost the footage, but I did 100% every single level of Super Tofu Boy. You're sad, you know It about. was one of the worst games I've ever played. Okay. Iron Man vs. Ned Kelly. Unlike this facts video, um, pr uh, most areas in recording for Iron Man vs. Ned Kelly, we were not sure if the ones which were intentional or not, because in, when we were recording that episode, we missaid a lot of... Missaid. <laughs> mispronounced. We, we mispronounced a lot of stuff. <clears throat> oh my god. He suddenly turned to the Terminator. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, we... We fuck fucked you. around and said a lot of stuff wrong, so we don't yep. know which ones were actually fuck ups because my script writing is, <laughs> and Ooh. not whiz, not boomstick, eh? <laughs> you, don't, you get the <laughs> and not whiz, not boomstick. Part of their characters to mispronounce stuff, so yeah. Barney versus Megatron from Beast Wars. Uh, the most notable thing here is chest nipples. Once again, who and he said chest nipples. He meant chest missiles. But it's not entirely his fault because the missiles didn't even come from Megatron's chest. They came from his hips. It created a gag. Yep. I'm happy. Deadshot vs. Stormtroopers. Oh, I guess this is the time we uh, reveal this. So, same f situation f sort of for Zora vs. Zora and Sasuke vs. Patroclos. Although Zora vs. Zora is going to become a thing. Mm. Deadshot vs. Stormtroopers wasn't originally going to happen for Season 1. It was meant to be like later Season 2 or something. And yeah. instead, we had, get this, Ash from Pokemon versus Ash Williams from f fucking Evil Dead. Yeah. But for some reason, I think, uh, yeah, Nemi just didn't like the idea. He wanted to move it back, but we ended up just scrapping it entirely. Yeah. And Deadshot vs. Stormtroopers was a recent idea that I just created. And he was like, hey, you want to do this? And I was like, sure. And sure, coming after the heels of, like, I'm as Nick Kelly and ha had very little time to edit it, I think it came out well, so. Yeah. So, yeah, originally it was meant to be Ash versus Ash, but Galaxy Grudge Match happened. They did it much better. So, yeah. And if Ash versus Ash ever does happen, it'll, it'll be quite a while from now. Yeah. Plus, Ash Williams is not boomstick, so. Yeah. It's going to be pretty awkward. <laughs> Predator vs. Donkey. With well, one thing originally, it was Predator vs. Goat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we changed it to Donkey. Um, but also, this, the funny thing with this one is that when I when we were talking about it, we were in a uh, philosophy class, because um, we were studying philosophy, uh, and James mm. was there too. Yeah. And oh, we, yeah. we were talking about the idea of Donkey kicks Predator out in the space, but what if he kicked him through the solar system? What if he kicked him into Pluto and then kicked the part of Pluto we back on him? We were laughing our asses off. We actually got to... called out by our teacher. <laughs> and I felt like a fucking idiot sitting there. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's we're talking fair. about a random donkey kicking the Predator for a bunch of planets. Yeah. <laughs> well, so we're doing like Greek philosophy, which I felt was really boring. Like Plato and Socrates and shit. It's basically because like, we were just talking about the basis and not any of like the deeper philosophical yeah, meaning. Like, like mm. the introduction, so the introduction of fucking Plato. We didn't learn Plato much philosophy shit. actually. Yeah. No. We didn't even cover Nietzsche, which was something else I want to learn about. Yeah. Actually, I'm this was... learning about. 
And for Will Sellers versus the Doctor later on, this this philosophy thing will come back. Yeah, yeah so. a lot of ideas came out of that fucking horse because it was so boring. <laughs> that, that's yeah. actually where Pen vs. Pencil was born. As well. So the whole go. fucking series was born. Yeah, it horse. really was. Uh, that's where we spent most of the time talking about the episodes in like the first half of the se- of the series. Yeah. Some of the episodes were also conjured up during computing class. Yeah, that, that's mm. where most of, of the later episodes came yeah, from. Yeah, because we were yeah. so fucking bored. <laughs> and it <laughs> paid off, so thanks uh, boring yep. us. Uh, Mountain vs. Pickaxe, once again... It was my idea, my one I'm proud of actually, unlike that fucking Rick the Orc shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's a Mountain vs. Pickaxe. Hey, people like yeah, Rick so. the Orc. Yeah, but I did like doing his voice. Yep. Uh, second fact for this, and I might add a third for this one as well. Also, this was made during computing class. That's yeah. why I mentioned it before. And the yeah, scribble, I was editing it The Scribble Notes uh, one was literally just done because Huand had his DS with Scribble Notes on it. And I was yep. like, hey, just do that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this... This was originally meant to be episode 21, and hey, hey Michael Bay vs. Derek Savage was meant to be the pen- penultimate episode... That didn't happen. <laughs> I'm glad I switched it around. And ironically, I like this. Michael Bay vs. Derek Savage was actually an idea I did come up with, but I thought it was a serious idea, whereas Mount Mass Pickaxe was a shit post idea. <laughs> I know. Like, I said it <laughs> offhand as a joke, and it turns out that's my favourite episode out of all the ones I've inspired. I love how both your episodes' <laughs> ideas were the ones that got switched around in the end. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, in the third one, uh, there was originally a. Um, oh, this one counts with Paper's Trait 2. Oh yeah, there was, I was um, meant to record a Minecraft um, thing for this uh, episode, was, but was, was there no Minecraft? Because I thought there was one where like you did it, but the because um, like the, the original attempt was you would dig through like an entire mountain until the final block where the pickaxe would break. Yeah, but you um, decided not to because that would be insane. Yeah, there was originally meant to be a Minecraft fight for Mountain vs. Mountain vs. Pickaxe. It, it still was, but I had to go through like a couple ideas before we now. Yeah. It. Same. And, yeah, with Payover's Tree, it has to do with the original version, because there was one in the original version, which we lost. Yeah, it was in the uh, old episode, when it became black and all shit like that. <laughs> anyway. It was just a mic. It was just a thing where I recorded myself in Minecraft. In creative mode. Yep, with a tree, TNT underneath, through paper and a pressure plate, <laughs> off screen, and it blew up. And then he had which to I pick- remember seeing. And then he had to pick the paper up yeah. and destroy the leaves that were still floating and survived. <laughs> I think I had to have, like, another piece of paper in hand, too. <laughs> it was, yeah. like, the least finesse. But maybe Maker fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Oh, man. So, that was fun, so... Speaking of, like, episodes that were moved around, uh, Rue Valreal was animated all the way back in, like, the first ten episodes' time. That's so, you, <laughs> so, you know the first six episodes, how those animations are very interesting? Yeah, technically, Team Ruby Valreal is probably my first properly good one, although there is ABGN versus Nostalgia Critic, which I still think is good. Yeah, fair enough. So, <laughs> not with this, not boomstick. This is our first combined animation. From us, I did the first type. You did the second. The only other one is Arsenal of his fiction right now, right? Yep. And so. technically, Predator vs. Donkey, um, no, no, but that, well, that doesn't yeah. really count. <laughs> I did most of it. So. Yeah. Uh, and it's long as fuck. Apparently, to, according to Nemesis, it's the longest versus yeah, episode. Yeah, I've, I've watched ever. a bunch of his stuff. It is the longest one that I could find. So yay us! Watch that someone cries a two-hour fucking. <laughs> Episode of Greninja versus uh, <laughs> Rano from Chicken Little. <laughs> That's gonna piss off Biff. <laughs> it is. All right, Flash versus Flash. Oh, so all we have for this one is that Huan animated the second round for no reason. He's Huan, by the way. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Grievous versus Grievous was a follow-on from Shredder versus Shredder, with the theme of two versions of the same character fighting it out. And in this case, it continues the trend of one of them just obviously mopping the floor with the other one. It's even... Like, the actual fight portion where the Canon Grievous swipes with the lightsaber, that's like... The sh- fight is so short compared to the other <laughs> Shredder vs. Shredder where there's, like, a second of fighting. Yeah, because, like, like he, he throws an attack... The other Shredder throws an attack. Like, 2,000 free Shredder slices uh, the other Shredder. And yeah. He, it was weird, but don't ask. Uh, I... I... I should also note, remember when we were watching it, and we didn't, you didn't notice in editing, but when we saw the scene of Mace Windu crushing Grievous's chest, and like the second delay he has, we couldn't stop laughing over the fact that Grievous had to like think about the fact that his chest was just crushed. Yeah. <laughs> we just laughed. Oh my god. Uh, oh! He raises his correction tape. Uh, for this, honestly, 
just flicked the pen and pencils voices for the correction tape and the razor. So you know how a pen sounds like this? And pencil sounds like Oscar Wall and Port and a bunch of other characters. Well, I gave this voice to the eraser and this voice for the correction tape. Except when I was at the end of the fight and said, What? That's his boots? <laughs> it, yeah, Oops. that's it. Other than that, it's Pam vs. Pencil too. John vs. Dan, as he just said, uh, let's just say I, f I don't know how to this day I found those John sprites and were able to animate a fight with it. It's funny because now there are actually JUS John sprites. <laughs> so that's a, that's honestly a flex. I, I was able to do that. And shout outs to the person who made the John sprites. I'm pretty sure they have not watched the episode in question. Oh, but For John vs. Saber, the John render in the thumbnail was made by the flu artist. Go um, check me out. I sent an image of John and I was like, what's with this face? And he sent it back with that edit and he said, what's with this face? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it went. If y'all uh, can't get what the hell John is actually doing in that <laughs> thumbnail. It's the shot in um, volume three, chapter two, where he's screaming at Team Bronze. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really tell, but that's what it is. It's him screaming. Just And memes. Zeus vs. Ground is the only episode that we actually premiered um, on the channel. Uh, and it failed. Like, nobody watched it. <laughs> And to be fair, it's definitely not one of the season two highlights. So. But also, like, it makes sense because, like, with um, time zones and stuff, it's it's hard, you know. Yeah. Uh, gun versus knife. This is the ooh two facts for this one. Uh, one, this is the second part of the Not Wisdic Saga, started in vs. Vegito, I believe. Yeah, Not Wiz, yeah, not where... vs. Vegito. Not Wiz, not Beamstick Fuse. Don't ask. That was his idea. Well, Very I thought cursed. it was stupid. <laughs> it is, and uh. Oh, three facts, actually. Number two, this is the only not-not-death battle. That's a mouthful episode that's in the main lineup. Because, you know, want to make Gun vs. Knife unique. And three, this is like one of the only times I edited an animation from Nemesis. That is true. Nemesis I, I is usually the one e of it. editing my animations, because, <laughs> you know... I, I forgot about that. that, that that's yeah. true. Because I'm not... Because I'm usually busy... Because I can't edit my own animations with sound. So thank you for that, Nemi. You're welcome. IHE vs. Gordon Ramsay was originally going to be a Gordon Ramsay dub, but we decided to change it because who and didn't want to kill IHE everything, and I was totally on board with that. Um, dub as in Gordon as in a win. win. <laughs> Uh, now we've got a much better conclusion where Jamie Oliver and the returning alive again Derek Savage. Boogie woogie salsa. <laughs> Boogie woogie salsa. The connection was back then was that Derek was feuding with IHE over the fucking cool cat yeah. review. Hence yeah. why he was like the antithesis of IHE, or the, the nemesis, you should say. And I, I just say. picked Jamie Oliver because Gordon <laughs> makes jokes on him, the fat yeah. pig, apparently. So, fat And Oliver is like inferior to Ramsey in terms of being a TV chef. Yeah, and it's really funny that. that we did that to this day we don't actually like record IHE versus Gordon Ramsey uh, and Gordon Ramsey properly. It's just... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we couldn't think of any proper <laughs> voices to use. So that's what we can count with. Uh, and we brought up philosophy class earlier. Because th for the Doctor versus Will Salas, we did it because in philosophy, we had to watch the movie in time. It was not good. So, <laughs> we decided... What a great review. What, 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 what's the worst? You should have used the fucking movie reviews back then. Let's, it's not good. Let's think about it, because yeah. we had V for Vendetta, right? Which we watched to do an oh, analysis on. Oh, shit was good. I liked V for Vendetta. Yeah, that was okay. And then we had another one that I don't remember where they were on an island. Um, was the Shadow Island. Yeah. I think that was good. Which we had to do a, a thing on. And there was another one which I was sick on the day and I couldn't come to watch. About oh, organs that or one something? That, about the boarding school organs and shit. Yeah, yeah all the fucking clone kids are being like harvested. This ain't Clone Wars people's But different. In Time was one that was on the curriculum, but was moved off, and we still watched it anyway. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and we memed it, so we decided to dedicate an episode to it. Sure, it's also like one of the forgettable episodes, but who cares? And the Doctor is one of the most powerful characters we've ever had on the series. Yeah, he's really good into fighting one of the weakest. I was surprised when I was researching the Doctor. Like, sure, spoon, spoon fighting, <laughs> spoon fighting Robin Hood with a spoon, kind of Chadley, but he's a walking time paradox. I don't even think we went into like stuff with like the Quantum Archangel, who's like yeah. complex multiversal and stuff. Yeah, I was getting. <laughs> it was getting too late in the script. I was like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> yeah. And what's worse is that there are like 300 episodes of Doctor Who apparently that are like lost. 
I don't remember if it was 300 or 130. Big difference. Um, I want to watch Stop Do It sometime, but it's Probably, like yeah. Some of the old episodes are missing. Uh, Prince Charming vs. Vegeta was a satire of a lot of animation. Rewind's work. Nothing against AR, but the ending where Shrek comes out of nowhere and Meme kills Vegeta, and then NotWiz talks about how it's not actually that funny, was meant to just take the piss out of the idea of just, oh, this character who's a funny meme comes in and wins. Lol funny. That's what we do a lot. We do yeah. it a lot, but in this case, it's because it's it's a recognized book. Like, it's different between a, a character nobody knows showing up and, like, just, oh, it's funny because it's Shrek. Yeah. No shade to you, Rewind. You're still Chadley. Thanks for including the live action fight and the meme Infinity <laughs> War, whatever it was. I died. Uh, all for one, this is Lord Boros. This, surprisingly, was meant to be. Uh, come out later in the season, like close to Magneto vs. Tin Man, sort of. Around that time, yeah. But, you know, this is when real life started for me, and Nemesis uh, had to start pushing episodes uh, back. Because... Which is why now we haven't got the same schedule we used to. Yeah, so the. Glad you did it, though, because Elf Worms War is really good. Yes. But yeah, had to push it back, and made sense. Pepsi Man vs. Kool-Aid Man is most no most notable to me as an episode that inspired Larry Winwood, who is an animator, and you should go check him out, who made his own episode, or his own animation, which then became a cartoon fight club. So, so thanks for reminding him, Larry. <laughs> I guess if what Larry said was true, um, I inspired an episode of Cartoon Fight Club, which is going to get more views than any video I've ever made. Get fucked. <laughs> well, I should be saying this too, but I just said get fucked. Okay, whatever. Hey, I was in Meme Infinity War. That's true. But that was bad. Team was it bad? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> Team Ruby vs. Godzilla is one that who I can't really talk about, so I'm going to have to take yeah. two in a row again. Uh, this is based on a comment on the Ruby Wiki, which or thread, I'm actually. It was Shut up, who went. <laughs> there was a thread on the Ruby Wiki that's, that was like, could Team Ruby beat Godzilla? And there were like two people who said, yeah! They could, and then uh, no. <laughs> that's why. It, that's why it's a thing. Oh no! This next one, Robert the Tire versus the Killer Tomatoes. This was like one of the ideas. Uh, I think yeah, this was one I created too. Uh, God help me for making. I think it. I think it's because like I said we should do something with Robert, and you were like, "Well, I have an idea," and then you came Killer up with Robert versus the Killer Tomatoes, and we were like. Yeah. It, this was like one of our golden ideas. And if it, this is Brando's favourite episode. Oh, good. Brandon Free Duckers, favorite episode. Exactly. And Duckers. Mm -hmm. I did not know it was Duckers. In the <laughs> comments. So, yeah. Uh, one of our golden ideas, that's besides the truth. So, uh, we we spent almost a year trying to debate who would win. We did a lot of research. Like, this is but, probably the most research we put like, into one. We should have never done this amount of research. It was <laughs> like, uh, and, and it, it, every every day, like, I'd uh, we would come up to something new, like, um, how many tires are produced every year? And I was like, okay, so that's how many. But then the next day we'd be like, well, hold on. How many vehicles are there that have four tires each? I know. It was, it was like, how many tomatoes are produced a year? How if, long would it take to get how many? If people didn't know, me and Nemesis watched uh, Rubber together. We watched Rubber oh, together. God. I did not. I watched the first Killer Tomatoes. I had independent, to, but I had he to watched watch the, the rest others. of the... God yeah. help me. And he had to do most of the math. Oh no, I think I had, I think I was like partially watching three because like I couldn't actually get the footage so I had to just yeah. screen record it. So I had to kind of watch that too. <laughs> yeah. Oops. So we did a lot of research. We couldn't decide Victor, but and in the end, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and this is based off assumptions from the endings. Don't, don't hate us for it. We just. Yeah. Cause, cause the thing with Robert is that you have to make a lot of assumptions. Like uh, obviously to say it now, if Robert did not have that um, immortality that he does, the Kill Tomato's stats would definitely destroy him. Because he does have, like, AP above all of them. Because, like, I did that whole calc with, like, the, the Super Tomato and then um, reverse calc stacking, I guess, to figure out regular Tomato's power. But, like, it's not enough to overpower all of them because he takes a while to charge up and use his attack. I saw a lot of Kill Tomato's up can reach planet. <laughs> no. Well, sort of. It's complicated. What was that from again? Oh, it's like yeah, assumptions of you know the war would keep going on. Tomatoes would start taking over the world. And stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask people. It was a conclusion. Yeah, yeah, not planet level, but taking over the. But planet. yeah, I agree. It's definitely one of our favorite episodes here. Too, yeah. So Striker vs Robocop is funny because Robocop later appeared in Mortal Kombat 11 and Strikers in his ending. 
<laughs> so we didn't intend for this, but you know, it's kind of funny. Big brain. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, that's really it. Nice episode. Fits in between <clears throat> Robert vs. Killer Tomatoes and the mouthful Bad Box Art Mega Man vs. American Box Art Kirby. It's just, I hate <laughs> saying it. Or BBA Man vs. ABAC. So, this is another time where we reveal a matchup that was originally going to be in this spot. So, we had the matchup of Kakashi versus Fukuro from Fairy Tale. For those who don't know, it's some other fucko who copies shit from Fairy Tale. Nemesis was like, hey, do you need a matchup for Kakashi? I was like, yeah, sure, have this. I wanted to do Taskmaster, but like, no, 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 Fukuro. And I was like, okay. So, yeah. But then I was like, wait. How the fuck am I going to do this for a full, full not death battle? So, we took that one out. We looked, we, and I think we had a list of rejected ideas. Yeah, I mean, we do yeah. have non-death battle rejected. And some of them yeah. were there. And I looked and said, oh, Kirby versus Mega Man. I like this now. So we did that, and, and oh, I'm, it. <laughs> I'm so glad we did it. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I'm very happy with it. I still yeah. feel like Kakashi vs. Fukuro would make a good Rejected, which I guess would be like a Sasuke Patroclo Zoro Zoro situation, but with Rejected instead of One Second Punch Out. Yeah, uh, well, I'll probably most likely just make that a One Second Punch Out. Yeah. We had a, I have an idea. Oh, we both had an idea for that, if you remember. But yeah. yeah. Fukuro does have full sprites, but it's funny yeah. to just, yeah. Glad we did make him in as Kirby, but cursed. M. Night Shyamalan vs. Twister was Jonathan the Garbage Can's first proper appearance outside of the band photo in Not Wiz vs. Not Boomstick. And he canonically dies. <laughs> he canonically episode. dies in the same I episode. hate how we have to use the term canonically. <laughs> <laughs> we have a verse here. L- literally, um, that plot twist at the end was just who and me throwing ideas together and then going, what if we just did all of them? <laughs> Why not? And it was also the first Vegas edit from who and Yeah, and I'm still happy with how it turned out. Very yes. funny. Still, I regret that it wasn't there wasn't much of a fight per se, but I do love the concept of how it just turns into an Ed Knight film at the end. So that's cool. Now for Majora's Moon versus the Angry Sun, uh, not Wiz, not Boomstick, you know, as they do, couldn't wait three days for the Sun and Moon to finish their fight. But in Paper versus Scissors Rock. They're perfectly comfortable for watching a rock sit on a piece of paper. No, no, a piece of paper. the other way around, yeah. <laughs> for 25 years! <laughs> How does that work? It's like a, a plot hole. It is. I know, we can <laughs> Now, this was responsible for scripting yeah. it, so I'm going to pass all blame bad. on people. <laughs> so, is that my idea or Nemesis' idea? I don't know. I'm not sh- I think it might have been James' idea, Majora vs. Sun. So wasn't I, I mine. recall saying that like years ago in one of the. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be classes. surprised if this was an idea that James had, but then we forgot, and yeah, then I came up with it as as well. Yeah. Because you suggested like a couple ideas, although we yeah. yeah. we were losers and didn't put them down. So. Yeah, th- we had like a whole document and <laughs> we lost it. I, the only one I remember that's on it, but it's not been recovered. That's not been like put back onto any sort of document now is Siegfried versus Siegfried, which I would do. I would do as like a rejected animation, but there's no fate Siegfried sprite. So. Yeah. Shame, fair enough. Uh, Mag- hey, this one, Magneto versus Tin Man. The fact is, real life's a bitch, and hiatuses are amazing. But it was worth it, because we got it in the We end. got Mini in the meantime, and Destroy the Osiris. So, yeah. yeah. Port versus Pun Man, it's gonna take ages, fuck off. Now we're gonna move on to facts for Not Death Battle Mini. Hey, speaking of Mini. Hey. Ruby Rose versus Chopsticks. The script is literally so short that I sent it to Huan in a single Discord message. That's how I pitched the idea to him. <laughs> I don't think... I, I, I don't know if you have the DM still. I'm pretty sure it's buried somewhere, but... I'll see if I can find it, yeah. Wasn't it inspired because uh, you didn't like how Ruby... It's inspired it. from the volume, fi- volume 5 scene in chapter 7, I want to say? No, chapter 6. Yeah, it was one of the middle episodes. Because chapter 7 was the bad one where they all like get together and they spend the whole episode doing nothing. Yeah. Where Ruby's holding the chopsticks really and she's just holding them wrong. <laughs> and I did, I spent a whole bit on the review talking about how she's just holding them wrong. Because when I said it to people in Discord, they said, no, she's not. She's not holding it wrong. And I was like, and yet, you, yes, you had to go in death and I am it. Asian. I know how to use a pair of motherfucking chopsticks. And Ruby doesn't. And I don't. So fuck you. <laughs> Huan uses chopsticks like he uses a fork. Just, he 
puts them together and has a two prong fork. Yeah, and you blame me for Pepper's tree, which you should. I should. And chopsticks are made from trees. Thanks. <laughs> but, so, could you, could like a really giant person use two trees as a pair of chopsticks yes. and use paper as a plate? Like, cool. Just a giant the fucking sheet. The paper wouldn't even fucking fold. It would, it would <laughs> fucking fall apart. <laughs> he puts oh, his that's dish, true. He puts he his put dish put like rice or noodles, you know, <laughs> chopstick food on the fucking paper. It would disintegrate. Oh Eating God. rice with chopsticks is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> I just want to say do that. Yeah, we just do use, it <laughs> as just, Asians. Just use forks, people. Use your fucking hands. The, the Filipinos do it. Just use a spoon for yeah. rice. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, yeah. sword versus diamond sword. Yeah. Sword versus diamond sword. That's what he said. Uh, originally... I think Ugh. it's because you had no ideas for the analysis. Yeah, I so. do. I've written like so many inanimate object script episodes. It's hard to think of original ideas. So I could not think of anything. So I was just like, "Fuck it." Live action skits and, and Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah. That. We <laughs> also, uh, there's a bit in the episode where it cuts to black and you hear James laughing, and that's because uh, in in filming, uh, I jumped too far back. I hit a cabinet and I knocked over. A Lego AT, a, a, AT M6 from the Whatever. Last Jedi. Uh, you, uh, if you've watched their live action shit, you'll see it in the background sometimes. Yeah, it is there in some shots. Uh, it's I put it back together, but it survived. Oh boy! <laughs> Amazon Ironhide it's, versus Moon Galore was originally Ironhide versus Marx from Kirby. The idea was characters we hate the most from the favorite things ever. Like, yeah. And then who and likes Marx now? Yeah, because. Make all betray you, and he's like, oh, It's also okay. one of the only times James appeared in 2020. Epic. Stay out. <laughs> uh, Nightmare vs. the Red Arrow. This is just an extended FCC parody. Yeah, it's just, it's just not fictional characters, Clyde. Low key, that, that is our version of not fictional characters, Clyde. I'm glad that it's most people's favourite as well. Like, <laughs> yes, I, I also spent way too long. Cutting out a sprite of rebellion from the de- from the Dante um, Mujin character, because like the what the shot the sprites of his sword on their own were like really corrupted on Pivot, so I had to cut it out from him, just for a very brief scene, or just for a, a joke of Bayonetta holding rebellion. You you you'll get why. Don't worry. Wii U vs Virtual Boy is the longest not death battle mini. It is actually longer than some proper episodes, <laughs> and Huan was originally meant to. Toss his gamepad, his Wii U gamepad, straight out the window. I had a spare one. I wouldn't throw my actual gamepad that I used. But he didn't. Either because he's smart, or because he forgot to. Probably because my family wouldn't be okay with me throwing a gamepad. Out the window. And let's be honest, you would have thrown it through the the window by accident. (laughs) You would have broken something. So I had to make the toilet skit instead. (laughs) In the fun... Did you see the after credits as well? Uh, yeah, I think I did. <laughs> the Wii U actually connected back. <laughs> or came back for like a second. So, yeah. Green Lantern versus Booster Gold. It was not meant to happen. Originally, it was not part of the lineup. <laughs> but me over here, I was like, hey, there's an imbalance of episodes between us, Nemi. We need the workload to be fair. So, I was like... Cursed versus Cursed, that being Green Lantern versus Booster Gold. Uh, then we scripted it on the spot and then recorded it. Literally a few minutes before we recorded uh, it. Yes, we literally were laughing our asses off and just <laughs> trying to see what quotes we could use from the actual episodes. Yes. Not Death Bell Specials. Pen versus Pencil Remastered. Um, the second half of the animation was not originally intended to be there, but hey. It was the, great. And also, the first type mixed up the sequence of events from the first, which you'll Who notice cares? if you play them together. Yeah. Also, we teased a shitload of one-second punch-outs from season one. I don't think we never said this. Sorry. We never said it, but we're going to say it now, to anyone who You're did not notice. We teased Frieza vs. Ridley, Sub-Zero vs. Elsa, DDD vs. Amy, Luke vs. Simba, Palpatine vs. Scar, Dora vs. Barbie, Genos vs. Yamsa, Yamsa? Yamcha, Mufasa vs. Vader, Kaiba vs. Mega Golade, CJ vs. Marcus? It's... Yes. Blake vs. Raven, Jason vs. Aquaman, and we had a bunch of random characters appearing, including Pat from Popular MMOs, a suspicious Yang vs. Garnet moment, Mario, a returning Death Egg with Eggman, Magneto and Iron Man, that and That is Paper not a and Magneto Rock. and Tin Man uh, set up. No, any more than it is an Iron Man and Kelly. And Paper vs. Rock, because... Yeah. yeah. And canonically, canonically, the Chuck Norris and Chuck Norris segment did not happen. That is a non-canon bit of that. 
Shut because up. we said that they cannot make Chuck Norris. That's that. Moving on to Ken versus Ken Re. You know, you know Dio, the dog, the JoJo's character. <laughs> well, during the... It was most noticeable during the uh, Ken Masters analysis. It, the little shit would not stop barking. And even when I tried to lower the... Lower? I mean, <laughs> raise the music volume, you could still hear it. And yep. I was like, uh... But hey, he's still Dio, and the episode was alright still. So. Saitama vs. Chuck Norris, remastered, was by far the biggest improvement for a remastered, because this time Saitama got an actual analysis instead of just... Saitama not. is the one punch man. <laughs> the end. Chuck Norris is... <laughs> that, that, that's <laughs> the jokes. Uh, and, ooh, Destroyer vs. Iris, which was done for the 10th Death Battle anniversary by Nemi. I wanted him. to do my... I, I said to Huan that he could do something if he wanted, but he was busy. Um, yeah. But I wanted to do my my most wanted matchup, uh, aside from Galactus Unicron, which is going to happen eventually. So this is my most wanted one, and it's never going to happen. So I decided to make it myself. Yeah, and it turned out good. It's, it's the Thanos a Age of Ultron haha meme funny. Hey, that inspired me to finally complete Magneto vs. Team Man. So. It did. And yeah. also it's the only episode with fan art right now. So, yeah. And now we're on to extra. There's a lot to talk about. How long ah. has this been? Has it been an hour yet? Not quite, actually. We're gonna get to one. Versus Doctor Doom is the only full fight where Notwiz does not teleport once because this was predating his teleportation. Because in Versus Ganondorf, we introduced a lot of abilities. Well, more so I did. So Mostly who and suck, suck it. Uh, which include the teleport, specifically the fader port, because Nemesis used the white PNGs and shit. Not with because it looks better. Just saying. No, it doesn't. It does though. More efficient. It it's more efficient to just fade it, but it looks more dynamic with the white. Yeah, it takes longer though. It so. does, but then you take longer anyway because you have a worse computer. Yeah, but that's not. I mean, that's circumstances <laughs> in life. Too. Who Huan's excuse is that he's got a worse computer. If he had a better computer, he would have no excuse not to do the white to make it look a little bit better. Yeah, so... And we canonically made them different forms of teleportation with so, different properties. Shit up your cock. There you go. <laughs> uh, we also introduced the Book of Rocks, the Jack Kick bike. Well, it was like... Expanded more on the bike. It's like using the bike as a yeah. weapon. And continued to use... Continued the use of random MK moves. Scorpion Dick Spear. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you can't... You can't say I didn't introduce anything in Doom. Like, the basic dynamic of the character's abilities. Yeah, you did. The shield, the sword. He the, made them fly, yeah. I expanded on it, he expanded on it. We just more. kept expanding all. So, yeah. Versus Saitama, I couldn't think of an ending. So, Huan just said use the Aspel Ball. The funny thing is that, because it's no limit fallacy, Saitama, if I really wanted to, I could have just copied the same ending against Ganondorf with but actually, not Boomsic using killed. the Sword of Death and actually, like, killing with it, yeah. Whoops. Uh, I'll get that one up on you, bitch! Lol. This Ask for Wall. By far the shortest one, and the shittiest. At least it introduced Raid and Electric Fly. That is true, which, funnily enough, has become one of the most signature moves of Not Boomstick, because it's actually just very efficient to animate. Yeah, so... First Vegeta was the first appearance of Dane Play Logic as Vegeta, who remained him until now. Also, for some reason, Notwiz actually uses his jetpack to fly in this episode, even though later on I would establish that actually both of them he can just fly if they want. He fucking flies in the scanning door. <laughs> yeah, he fucking does. Four hole that. So the reason he needs a jetpack is, let's just say, it, it, he's, he, dumb. he's dumb. <laughs> he uses it when he forgets he can fly. Yep. There's Hercule Satan. Oh, I'm sorry. Mark. <laughs> uh, basically oh, this was an entire dream sequence, and the joke was later reused for the... What? One second punch out. Yes. Yeah, one second punch out Hercules versus Hercule. Don't That's know what okay. that sound bite was, but okay. Versus Santa Claus was done for Christmas. It is also the only physical appearance of the condom that used Notwiz. My proudest moment of voice acting, not gonna lie. <laughs> Which was mentioned in Urza vs. Saber. I don't remember if it was in the remastered. Versus Team Ruby. Poor Kitty voices every member of Team Ruby. I felt really bad making if, her do if, that. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> we were bouncing around what voices to do for Team Team Ruby, Ruby yeah, for a while. For Ruby anything. And, so. and now we have a set and I voice all of them. Now... <laughs> Fuck versus you. Slender Man was done for Halloween. It is also the only Halloween special we've done, even though we've also had versus Cthulhu. And Slender Man is also canonically dead. <laughs> There's <laughs> fucking riddance. Because the only other time Slender Man's appeared was in um, One Minute Melee Season 2, 3, I want, no, 4, 5, 6, where he's just a Minecraft. Yeah, that just took four hands. So. Yeah. 
First, Ebenezer Scrooge. Not Wiz does indeed have a time traveling toilet. And Ebenezer Scrooge swallowed <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> I'm sorry, Duncan, but it had to be done. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Versus who and gave hey, us me. not boomstick Kirby. Cursed. <laughs> Which is great, and I love it. First Cthulhu. Nami here didn't uh, realize how powerful Cthulhu was, and that made not with us not boomstick out of Versal. I don't know how yes. that works. That's how Cthulhu it works. Because Cthulhu is apparently an out of Versal deity beyond the concept of dimensions, and not with and not boomstick. Like, not with takes full on blows, and not boomstick actually fights Cthulhu evenly. And not with does scale to not boomstick as well. So look, the scaling is fucked. Just accept that is it. why I had them fight the high out of versal screw attack Superman because I thought I already made them out of versal by accident. Oops. Yep, yeah, but they still lose to us, fuckers, and us for war. Versus Vegito, uh, Huan and Dane, who voice Goku and Vegeta respectively, were not recording together to lip sync Vegito. If you did not know, I am Oz Australian. Dane is not Aussie Australian. He's in America. And I think I recorded these before Dane recorded his line, so I wasn't able to sync up. So, yeah. big rip, but hey, who cares? And versus Darkseid, all of Not Wizstick's moves, the fusion, are combinations of Not Wizards and Not Boomstick's already existing moves. Including the Hyper Legasp, because we gave both of those characters a Legasp by accident, and he now has both of them. Which both causes something distracting to happen and to forces the opponent to pay for Like gasp! Oh, hi, James. <laughs> Evening. And versus Justice League is by a landslide the longest episode. It is actually so long that it is almost... It is longer than some proper Not Death Battle episodes too. Just like Does... Wii U vs. Virtual Boy. <laughs> oh, God. Wii U vs. Virtual Boy versus Not Wii Not Wii <laughs> versus Justice League. I Let's think Wii U vs. Virtual Boy is two minutes longer. Oh, it's yeah. 12 minutes. Because the fucking next time trailer. And now, <laughs> it's true, <laughs> we can finally get to Not Death Battle Rejected, which is the second longest running series of Not Death Battle. This is where mostly Nemesis has all of his animations. Shut up. So we start with Yang vs. Lucy, which was released as a miscellaneous animation before I retconned it into being a Rejected. She's out of Saitama, the only time Nemi used those models. I'd never use them again. Darkseid vs. Toilet. Who and really wanted to do a Rejected? So he did. And it was this. Rock vs. The Rock. Leads into the Sam vs. Adam one second punch out. That's it. I forgot to mention that uh, you wanted to make it True Form Dark Side vs. Toilet, but you couldn't animate with True Form Dark Side. Yeah, that's so. later. Oof. And that would, also, that would also mean Toilet scales like around the same level as Nemesis. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, and you will have trouble <laughs> scaling that. Get ready. It'll, oh, it just means that, that Toilet is going to be one of the top tier. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <And I'll> just... <laughs> toilet! This is gonna be toilet fucking... hype gamers. Let's go <laughs> toilet hype gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Torres vs. Shoot to Trunks was originally uh, going to end with Trunks doing a burning attack to kill Adam. Who and however suggested just do a key blast and yes, it worked so well. Anime Girl Royale took five months for Nemi to animate. And I think that was one of my ideas. As well, or I, I think James helped it, him. It was one of the ideas James and I both had. Yeah, uh, not no. mine for once. It was definitely my idea to have all the characters who only appear at the end to be on the thumbnail instead of the characters who were in most of the fight. <laughs> yep. Deadpool versus Dante, but not was Duncan Anderson's idea. Who he is, and he was an old fan of the channel. Who I think is still around every now and again. So share that to you again, Duncan. Yep. Vegeta versus Kaiba, because I did Vegeta versus Sasuke. More on that in like two seconds. Shadow vs. Goku Black. This was done because Fuck. Huan likes Goku Black voice doing it, even though yeah. he did the Rosé voice in base. And also, Shadow only lands hits when he uses Chaos Control in this, which Yeet. is a reference to Shadow vs. Mewtwo, but my fight's actually fun. Huan also suggested the ending song, and hilariously, if you watch Shadow's death without sound, it looks like he just gave up <laughs> through the fight, which... Funny how that works. Vegeta vs. Oh, look! Sasuke. Uh, this was originally meant for another channel, but... Uh, the only thing I remember of the person who suggested it was named Gabe or some shit like that. Said he was gonna. I uh, can't believe Gabe his... Newell wanted <laughs> oh, <laughs> to no. animate for him. Bro, that's a flex. But yeah, uh, <laughs> said he was gonna. They or whatever were gonna delete the uh, their fight series, so it made Vegeta vs. Sasuke uh, rejected. Man, I still wish I knew where I had Broly vs. Doomsday. I did Rest. download them all. I don't remember where though. Kenjo vs. Street Fighter is Biff Weed's favourite episode of anything not Death Battle related. Until and we do All For One vs. The Annihilator. Which we're not going to. Maybe. I don't know. We might. Guts vs. Berserker literally happened because one day while driving to my uncle's restaurant, 
I listen to a song that is playing in the background of the video, which is Beast in Black by Beast in Black, which has Berserker as the lyric. Goku versus Baldi. The Sprite Dildo Trophy. Epic. Is a, is a, what? There's a, a dildo sprite trophy in the background of Goku vs. Baldi. Don't ask, James. Just <laughs> Don't ask. I, I added it because I thought it was stupid. Goku vs. Glass. Hey, Goku again. The inside of the glass and the animation wasn't properly transparent. Oh well. And originally, glass was meant to reflect the key blast instead of being reflected <laughs> on the Asper wall. Oops. Pen vs. Rock. It was a Valentine's Day special. The only other one we did was literally me taking a picture of the wall. So what are we doing for this year's Valentine's special? I don't know. We ain't Lincoln shit. Lincoln? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ginyu vs. Power Rangers. The only rejected with two rounds from our knowledge. So. And I did both of them, which is very unusual for the channel. For oh the well. Same person did both. Peter Port vs. the Z Fighters is the introduction of the muscly Broly body port. And I'm very happy that I did that because it's cursed as fuck. Cloud Royale! It's literally a rejected NDB idea. We It wasn't on the episode list for the mainline series. We just chucked it aside and uh, there you go. There are several like that, but most rejecteds aren't, despite the name. Yeah, it's also just a fun series where we... Uh, just animate without having to do the rest of the work. Except for him. Yeah. Uh, Freezer vs. Boros. I had no idea what the fuck I should have used for music, so I just used the ending theme from Danganronpa the animation. Fair <laughs> enough. Vegeta vs. Bakugo. There's no fight because Vegeta killed Bakugo too fast. Oh well, a fair matchup. I wonder who wins. Jalal vs. Gilgamesh. I I did not even animate the ending. It's I just put a sprite of Jalal over the top of Gilgamesh's, I think, Fate Extra Noble Phantasm. Motherfucking T-Rex. Oh god. This is Aspel Wall. Uh yeah, this was the this was just a fun little side thing I made to hopefully kill motherfucking T-Rex once and for all. More or less. Or was it? Hagakure vs. Invisible Woman. The fight is literally a PNG. Brawly vs. Arale. That. Introduced Blue Brawly. Who has appeared continuously in the future as the, I guess, the Goku Purple of Brawly. Balrog vs. Balrog. Who and didn't rewatch Lord of the Rings, so he had no idea about the Witch King or the Nazgul and swapped them. In what are you talking about, bruh? Which king is a Nazgul? He is a Nazgul, but he is not. No, but a normal a Nazgul doesn't turn into a witch king? Wow, well, that's fake news. That's dumb. You're dumb. This one's all you. Purple guy versus purple man. Springtrap appears, because why not? Deku and Baku versus Naruto and Sasuke is the most viewed on Death Bell rejected. Why? Because they're both popular. I guess because Bakugo versus Naruto and Deku versus Naruto yeah. are popular. This is also the first time. We did All Might meeting. Yeah, we my did all my versus my guy before, before, death before the death battle. <laughs> and it's in one of the most popular videos for some reason. Okay. Yes. Aha! That's a flex! Anyways. Indeed! Next up is... Uh... Ryuko versus Rin, where Ryuko wins. Also, it starts with the same background with the, from Dark Link versus Dark Pit. Yeah. FC, so, yeah. Izuru Kamakura vs. Ichino Horobe. I remember this one because when recording, Huan just grunted twice <laughs> for Ichino's lines. Fun. Now that's condom. Nah. This was my peak voice acting performance. Uh, and. Uh, exactly. Deadpool vs. Gentro. This was meant to tie in with a. Uh, mm, I'm just going to say animation for now that I've yet to upload. I don't know if it's going up on a different series. If not. You'll see it on my channel. Maybe. Though, if you actually watch the rejected, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Mega Man Battle Royale 2. I just did it because I also killed Mighty Number no. 9 in it. Oops. Not Boomstick vs. <laughs> Farmer with Shotgun. It should be an extra, but Nemi dumb. It really should have been, but Not Wiz was not part of the fight. Uh, also, you, you should sort of been. People complained that, not, that Farmer with Shotgun's too OP to be beaten. Uh, keep in mind that he took a full blown punch from Raditz. And was completely unharmed. He got he got hurt from landing on his keys. So Farmer did not lose that fight. Farmer just chose not to go back in. Oh God! Ask for Wall versus Viction. This was originally going to be a series of Ask for Wall versus this and this and that and that. But we decided to just make it a single 15-minute-long rejected. And also, a commenter by the name of Hank Tony counted 143 characters who fought the war. 
Side note, probably my favourite uh, rejected. So. It is one of my favourites. It is it's so fun to it, like we we watched a big chunk of it earlier today for no good reason. So yeah. Gargiel versus the Genos. Literally, Nemesis doesn't know why he chose his matchup. I do not know. <laughs> he just animated it, because why not? Both Steve the Pumpkin Guy versus a bush. This was originally intended to be in a different location, but the bush we were going to use was cut down and removed. So in the end, Bob Steve somehow won. <laughs> Technically, he wins. Rip the bush. Also, I want to point out that because Bob Steve has tanked attacks from Scissors, who or from Rock, who is scales above Scissors, who scales to Alien X, that is a universe-level bush. <laughs> You're going to get called out for that. <laughs> I'm going to get called out for it, and I don't care. Momo versus Yugi. Canonically, Momo did get destroyed by Yugi in the abridged timeline. As don't in, ask how that works. <laughs> yeah. Brandon Breyer versus Andrew Detmer. This is the rejected. Everyone tells me. Andrew should have won. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I prefer Andrew, but I thought it'd make more sense for Breyer to win, because regardless of their actual stats, he is portrayed as more powerful. Fuck off, everyone. I'm sick of it. It's a rejected. We don't really care about winners. Should I do the one second punch out intro next time I do a controversial matchup? Yes. If I do a rejected of Joker versus Giorno, do Let's the one go. second punch out intro. Hercule versus Yamcha. Master Roshi's only Ultra Instinct appearance. Is there a relation between MUI Roshi and MUI Ken? Meh. Lightning Royale. I could not choose who should have won, so I just copped out with Thor killing Ragnarok, who's revealed to have been the Thor the whole time. I'll let you do this one, since it's your... Episode. And, yeah, Anime Brawlers Royale, I am very proud of the ending animation of Kenshiro and Broly. It is one of my favourite animations I have put out. Uh, also, for despite the fact it's called Anime Brawler Royale, it is indeed... Broly murking everyone. I told this to Nemesis. He refused to accept. Shut up. It is true. That was the joke, though. But Broly versus Kenshiro. Okay. Still good, though. Geonos versus 17. Someone, I think, in the comments actually predicted this beforehand, so... Yeah, like, it's the, they said, um... I think it was actually a comment on the cast where they said everyone wanted Genos versus uh, 17, and then someone commented, I, I, I can only assume Nemesis Bloodrack is going to make Genos versus 17 now, and I did. We don't know where it is, we don't have screen caps, we're just gonna say, that's true. Shut up. Jiren versus Moomin Rider. Somehow in the One Punch Man vs. Moomin Rider has actually met Boros, and survived a punch from him. Okay. He-Man vs. Trunks. Nemi will never do Vegeta vs. He-Man. That's never getting continued. That is why in the latest Rejected, I said for real this time, for the to be continued. Izura Kamakura vs. Izuka Midoriya. Everyone likes the end, where Kamakura just says no. I should also note that during the recording, James was here, and he fucking lost it when he heard Black Whip. <laughs> <laughs> because it's such a dumb name. It really is. Oh no. Dan Abiki versus King. Despite me voicing King, I did not know that, you know, King was a fraud when season 2 of One Punch Man came around. Yes, I somehow didn't know, even when looking at the wiki page for King, I either didn't scroll down enough to see that he was a fraud or just didn't get. I, I don't know. Yeah. I somehow wasn't spoiled on King's plot twist. Despite the fact that King gets knocked out in one hit by Dan. Yeah, but I thought it was a shit post, but hey, it's true. In character. Hercule Satan versus Berserker. All of Hercule's dialogue was ad-libbed by Huand. Yeah. I just told him, make a boast, and then realize you fucked up, and then say ow. And that's what he gave me. Gypsy Dink. Jarvis is Tentacolino, whatever the fuck his name is. I made is. this animation while I was extremely tired in about half an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's <laughs> all. Oh, we're nearly done. Final segment. Other. Just other misc shit. Not Not Death Battles, two episodes, apart from Gun vs. Knife. Pen vs. Scissors, Not Not Death Battle. Analysis is literally taken from the Wikipedia's pages on pens and scissors. And I did that for Ken and Ken too. Except for that one, I even did it for the intro where I, where I used the Wikipedia page on the name Ken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, also, Huan did not want to animate a fourth Ken vs. Ken. If you're wondering where the third one is, it's in Flash vs. Um, Sonic One Second Punch Out. Watch it. Uh, and so I did it instead. It also means he got to avoid <laughs> Ultra Instinct Ken Bell. This video is cursed. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. Just in this recording, Wig, I'm going to have to come back to this terrible matchup. Just I not did. as you would expect. Karski Bagger is Michael Bay. 
Not Manny was used in the same voice as well, my Deku. Also, James ran out of uh, breath for... His voice ran out. Yeah, and by the end for, of it, yeah, my, for his my first... throat was fucking killing Ooh. me. And that was his first host role, and he's never yeah. doing another one. Yeah. Don't worry, Rick the Orc is canonically dead. Good. Yeah. Oh, and we from... have more canonically dead characters than you think. Yeah, oh, like shit. Slenderman, Rick the Orc, um, Jonathan the Garbage Can, David, David the Tree. Tree. <laughs> D- false information. False information. No one's going to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, this one's uh, something I can talk about. The Crossover X team has actually seen mm-hmm. it, commented on it and like it but I was also told that I did not have to rip the assets from Guts vs. Wolverine uh, Tiki and Ray were completely willing to just give me the assets if I asked but it would have ruined the surprise so. it would have though yeah. I did send Tiki the episode a month before it came out and he was too busy to watch it Fair so he nice. still gets surprised I don't know why the fuck Rick the Orc was even a thing yeah because Rick Rocker. dead yeah. also Uza vs. Saber the first one the thumbnail is shit. Holy fuck, Saber is so off center. Next, <laughs> the fucking template's off center. That, yeah, uh, uh, also, I guess we could add that like it was the second longest NDB episode. Yeah, it was the longest until uh, not with the music. Yeah, I think it's still. It was lo- oh, was it longer than Mander's pickaxe? No, it was, it was. This was longer by five minutes, I think. So. Ah. Earth vs. Saber remastered. The final one. It's actually a good episode, unlike the previous one. But also, <laughs> the result is wrong. Yeah, I was surprised <laughs> when watching when Urza was one. I was like, oh. Uh, this- as it turns out, uh, Saber is, like, actually thousands of times faster with just Stay Night. And so- there's arguments for Excalibur in just Stay Night being just more powerful. Just enjoy the animation, guys, please. Whoops. It's actually the only time I've animated Saber with her sword actually visible. And Demon, don't ask for chair by Ariel. Don't. And I'm still thinking of stuff to do. <laughs> and that's it. So that's all we have for you guys. Thank you for the 5,000 subscribers. It's like the fourth, fifth video. We fucking said it. Yep. Thank you again. And thank you for the 230 of you others who also joined in the time it took for this to come out. Hey, James, laugh at this. Black whip. Ha, 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 ha. That is such a fucking dumb name. Seriously. <laughs> all right. Say goodbye, guys. You know what else? Wait, what? What? You know what else is- Okay, bye guys!